Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to make a short video talking about some of my thoughts from Siri Ploki's book, Chernobyl, um, about the uh, nuclear meltdown of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine in 1986. Um, this is my second book to read by Ploki. The first of his books that I read was his The Gates of Europe, which was a history of Ukraine. Um, and I read that a couple weeks ago and uh, it drew my attention to his other works. This is his other um, most famous um, book. It's also one of his most recent ones. It came out just a couple years ago. And it is really the first full analysis of the Chernobyl nuclear event in English, written in English, um, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Going into this book, I knew very little about the events that took place um, at the Chernobyl nuclear plant in 1986. Really, all I knew was that it was indeed a nuclear power plant that had a, a meltdown, an explosion. Uh, but I really didn't know anything about the political and scientific ramifications of that event, of that explosion. Um, I certainly didn't understand any of the science behind the explosion. I didn't understand anything about nuclear power. Um, didn't really understand anything about nuclear power plants even. I just really was aware of the event. I was aware of the name. I knew it was in Ukraine. Um, but other than that, I really had no uh, grasp at all on the event. And so I went in pretty empty handed into this book and I was instantly drawn into it. Ploki's prose are incredibly readable. He gives such detailed and in-depth information without coming across as stiffly academic. It's still very much a, a breathable text. It's easy to read. It's easy to um, understand what's being said. With that being said, however, um, the first half of the book is very scientifically heavy and very um, nuclear reaction term heavy. There's a lot of the science at the beginning of the book. He he sets up a lot of the sort of introduction to this new specific type of nuclear reactor that was built by the Soviet Union for use at this new power plant they were building in Chernobyl. And so there is quite a lot of science in the book. However, it's not impossible to understand. It, um, he, he explains it quite well. It's just that you have to make sure you do pay attention for some of those beginning parts. I found a couple of chapters where I needed to go back and reread certain chapters. I also um, was using Wikipedia alongside reading the book, looking up different terms that I wasn't familiar with or hadn't heard before. Um, but with that being said, it's not a, it's not a science book. It is not um, it is not a textbook by any means. It is still incredibly readable. Um, he just sets a really nice stage for the uh, sort of the, the technical side of the event of what led to the meltdown of the uh, Unit Four nuclear reactor, which is the the nuclear reactor that that had the problems at the uh, Chernobyl power plant. Um, and after sort of setting the stage, walking through the engineering process, the designing process, the building of this power plant, up through the actual um, explosion meltdown event itself, the book takes a turn and it basically completely focuses on the political ramifications of the event instead of the um, scientific and technical explanation of what all was, was going on. We still do get that, but we get a lot more of how this event affected the Soviet Union, how it affected the citizens of the Soviet Union, and how it affected um, Soviet and Western relations, which was something really interesting. Obviously, 1986 um, is when Chernobyl happened. 1986, the Cold War is still very much um, going on between the U.S. and the USSR. Obviously, they don't want, the USSR doesn't want to publicize a nuclear event of this um, of, of this um, massive scale to the Western world. Um, so there's a very interesting um, sort of period of press cover up from the USSR side, trying to uh, keep the story to a minimum while there are other countries who are getting radiation in their air. Um, the radiation from the event covered almost half of Europe, half of, half of Europe's skies. Um, and so it was very easy for other countries to be picking up radiation. Um, and so there was a very interesting sort of cover up the West, uh, Western world uncovering that sort of 
um, coming back to the Soviet Union and uh, sort of saying, you know, we know what, what's happened, we know you've been covering it up. This very interesting drama that then um, is created between the USSR and the US. Um, some very interesting um, political drama that was sort of birthed out of this event. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic book. I, I highly, highly recommend it for anyone who wants a better grasp on the events um, of the Chernobyl uh, nuclear explosion, nuclear meltdown, um, as well as the political aspects of that, how it affected the Cold War, how it affected U.S.-Soviet relations, um, and how it is still relevant uh, even today. Um, so those are just some of my thoughts on Chernobyl by Siri Ploki. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to leave a comment, please feel free to do so, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.